Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make this fish and um, pepper soup and potatoes. If you'd like to see how it's made, please keep watching. So this is a list of ingredients that I'll be using for this recipe. So first into a pot, I have baby potatoes that are peeled and washed. And you can see how they look. I'm using baby potatoes for this recipe. Next, I'm adding water to it. So I'm just adding enough water that will cook them halfway through. And I'm also going to be adding a drizzle of salt to this. And next, I'll be adding about half a teaspoon of butter to this. I like adding this to my potatoes when cooking. You can use oil as well. So they've been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I came back to check on them with the fork and they're almost halfway done. So next, I added my blended pepper and onion mix. So I'm using scotch bonnet pepper and onion. And next, I'll be adding the pepper soup spice for this recipe. I use about 2 teaspoons of pepper soup spice. Then I'm also adding blended crayfish into this. And then I had the grain of selim, it's an African pepper soup spice, and also I added a little bit of salt. And now I'll be adding the fish, so I'm using tilapia fish for this. You can watch clean your fish, and you can also add a little bit of hot water and drain out the water to make the fish a little bit cooked before adding it into this. Or you can just add your fish directly into this recipe and allow it to cook for a long while and make sure to check to see if they are tender before serving it up. So I'm just putting the fish into the bottom of the pot so they can get the heat from the gas and added a little bit of water. And next I'll be adding mixed herbs. This is the only dry herbs I can use for my pepper soup spice as I like putting herbs in my pepper soup. And next I'll be adding just one stock cube to this recipe and I'm just gonna leave it to cook for a while so you can cook for about 70 minutes to 25 to make sure your potatoes are all the way are cooked all the way through and the fish itself is cooked all the way through if this is your first time visiting my channel you're welcome please support me by subscribing to my channel as i upload new recipes every week and i'll be glad to have you in the mogus wheels family so next i came back to check on the pepper soup and you can see I'm just using the scoop to gently shift the potatoes and the fish in order not to break the fish and I'm just checking to see if they are getting properly cooked. I also tasted it to see if it's up to taste and if you can taste it and see if it's not you can add more salt and whatever spice you want. I also use the fork to do the test to check if my baby potatoes are properly cooked all the way through and they need about a few minutes so I'm just going to leave it for a while and just turn this up and if you're watching and you like this recipe so far please don't forget to like share and also get click on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new recipes as well so like i said i checked to see if this taste was up to taste and wasn't had a little bit of salt and cooked for a while and this is how my potato and pepper soup looks like you can see the fish is all cooked the potatoes are looking good they're in one form so they didn't get too soft in the pot and they cooked all the way through so i'm just serving it up for a taste test and you can see the fish is still in the whole form it wasn't scattered in the pot so you just have to be careful when cooking it to make sure it's in the whole form and this is my pepper soup and potato recipe it looks good and it tastes yum as well thank you for watching